We're going to be heading underneath that bridge here. If you were at all curious about how the bridge actually works and how the law is surrounding it, if you're a maritime vessel, regardless of your purpose, commercial, private, otherwise, you get priority. There are no exceptions to this, but the only one being that uh, between 8 and 9 a.m. and 4 to 5 p.m., the Fremont Bridge will not open for you. That's prime rush hour times, but otherwise, if you need to come on through, give them a blast to your horn or sound them on VHF radio, and they will always let you through. one of my favorite parts of the tour if you want to make your way outside for even a, just a brief moment to see how close that bridge gets to us. gonna hear a clang, bang, pop, pow, and I'll know my days at RGC are gonna be numbered. <laughs> if you're curious at all, um, we did a little backyard scientist experiment. Um, those pint glasses that you all got from the bar, um, one of them will fit on top of the pilot house, two of them will not. That's how close it gets. But with that, we've crossed underneath the smallest of our bridges. Now it's time to cross under the tallest of our bridges. This one being the Washington Memorial Bridge that no one actually calls it that. We call it the Aurora Bridge based on the street that, is, uh, that it stands upon. So the Aurora Bridge doesn't open and doesn't really need to. It's very tall, will fit under just fine, flag or no flag. Uh, it's also home to one of the most famous art pieces in the city, that being the Fremont Troll. It is underneath the bridge, a little bit further up this, a uh, little bit further to the left, unfortunately not visible from the boat, uh, and of course based on the story Billy Goat Gruff. Underneath the bridge, that's something we can actually see, is this three-story spooky looking olive mansion cast in shadow there. Uh, I'm here to tell you that that house is not actually a house. It's a house boat. It has an engine on the back of it, and if you can believe it, it has to get underway every couple of years to prove to the Coast Guard that she is, in fact, still seaworthy. I was curious myself, did a little bit of digging, and found this house going...